follow the tape for this lightweight scrap. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jim Miller! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bobby King Green! You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. It's going to be very interesting to see how this first round plays out. At times, Green has started slowly. At other times, he has come out guns blazing. James Krause can certainly attest to that. Of course, he was knocked out by that vicious body kick back in 2013. Bobby Green ready to go here early round one. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big he lands to the body. Oh, he just missed on that overhand left. Slips. Miller's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. All right, there it is. It's been bet under 90 seconds for the first takedown secured. Go cash those tickets. Good start for him here. You knew that he was going to try to take this fight to the floor. He did it. Green's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Three minutes in our opening round. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch now. And a nice left hand there on that side. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the that. And there's the single. There it is. Now he's won the out. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Miller reigns down. <laughs> Always offensive. Lands a shot from the bottom. Side control now. Miller's back in full now. Under a minute now to go in the round. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. 
All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. A beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Beautiful ground strikes landing. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Nice defense. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, Five God. minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back. Cash. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Oh, nice. Green's in half guard now. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Green. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Green's right back to the full mount here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Good work from the top here by Green. Get the mount here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, my goodness, he's getting tight. Yeah, he's in the to the Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Great defense by this fighter. This is where he wants to be. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Green. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Green. Under two minutes now to go in the round. in position. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Green. 
Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Really good job with the ground and pound. And now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. 30 seconds to go in round two. Good work. Twenty seconds to go round two. Fifteen seconds. And now he's a tip to choke. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. Oh. Submission defense wins this transition. And the horn sounds on round two. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his Ready approach in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was... Nice. Nicely done. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. But that punch, no good. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a good He needs to be on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Miller. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. He passes to half guard. Green's right back to the full mount. Arm bar tip. He's got it isolated. Recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before he gets given up. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Green. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. A oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Green's back in full now. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Green's back inside control here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Changing the position. Green's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he escapes! He got out! Wow, that is great submission defense. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Green. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. 20 seconds to go in the fight. the grounded pound strike here. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. we got to address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30 27, 30 26, and 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bobby King Green. All right, so it does go to the scorecards, perhaps to the surprise of some, but largely a dominant performance by the boxer against the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu player. Well, I mean, you got to watch him. And the fact that everything he did was different. He wasn't throwing one technique. He wasn't just spamming right hands. Yeah. He was throwing jab, right hand kicks. He did everything. He confused him. And that allowed for him to find his way to a beautiful decision victory.